Hello people, Tyler Manawati here bringing you a new category I like to call Best to Worst. Sounds like a list based on my opinion, right? Close. It lists what is objectively the best to worst and I give my thoughts on them. Today's category is the best to worst Nintendo home consoles. This should be easy to follow along if you have the internet. Link to the best selling consoles will be in the card. Now if that way, let's start with the best. The Ouija slash Y slash Wii is a home video game console developed and marketed by Nintendo. It was first released on November 19, 2006 in North America and in December 2006 for most other regions. It is Nintendo's fifth major home game console, following the GameCube, and is a seventh generation home console alongside Microsoft's Xbox 360 and Sony's PlayStation 3. In my opinion, it's one of the best shut up and take my money deals I had to experience with. Granted, the motion controls were easy to overpower the player, but not all of them had any good responses. But you know, it helps to bring family together. The best of the best. My favorite games were Twilight Princess and Red Steel 2. Skyward Sword is an okay game in the gameplay department, but it had the beginning lore. There's also Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 and Donkey Kong Country Returns. Not much I could say. The Nintendo Switch H is a video game console developed by Nintendo and released worldwide in most regions on March 3, 2017. The console itself is a tablet that can either be docked for use as a home console or used as a portable device, making it a hybrid console. Its wireless Joy-Con controllers, with standard buttons and directional analog sticks for user input, motion sensing, and tactile feedback, can attach to both sides of the console to support handheld style play. They can also connect to a grip accessory to provide a traditional home console game platform, or be used individually in the hand like the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, supporting local multiplayer modes. The Nintendo Switch's software supports online gaming through internet connectivity, as well as local wireless ad hoc connectivity with other consoles. Nintendo Switch games and software are available on both physical flash-based ROM cartridges and digital distribution via Nintendo eShop. The system has no region lockout via handheld focus revision of the system, called the Nintendo Switch Lite, was released on September 20, 2019. The still wine console that is coming close to be the best console of all time. There are a lot of features put into this console. A lot of accessories are used and the best games to find on the Switch. Nintendo is like for their mistakes on the Wii U. People have issues with the joy cards in which I have to say, take it easy on the gameplay. It's not meant to be played in a marathon. The Nintendo Entertainment System NES, is an 8-bit third-generation home video game console produced by Nintendo. Nintendo first released it in Japan as the Family Computer A commonly known as the Famicom B in 1983. The NES, a remodeled version, was released internationally in the following years. I never owned an NES, but the AVG taught me a lot. I at least played the games from the NES library and they were decent. I can understand people's love for SMB or my Brothers series and the Donkey Kong series, though Nintendo put a few bad games in there as well. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System, SNES, comma B commonly shortened to Super NES or Super Nintendo C is a 16-bit home video game console developed by Nintendo that was released in 1990 in Japan and South Korea, 16, 1991 in North America, 1992 in Europe and Oceania, and 1993 in South America. In Japan, the system is called the Super Famicom, SFC, .d in South Korea, it is known as the Super Combo EE and was distributed by Hyundai Electronics 17 The system was released in Brazil on August 30, 1993-1618 by Playtronic. Although each version is essentially the same, several forms of regional lockout prevent the different cartridges from being compatible with one another. Never had the console, but I played the games. It is not as successful as the NES, but it did have better graphics for the most part. If you just prefer using the face buttons and the sword buttons and the trigger buttons for the Switch, then it's up in your alley. The only 32-bit games were Star Fox, Star Fox 2, and a racing game. A lot of games I could play if they weren't so hard. The Nintendo 64A, abbreviated as N64, stylized as Nintendo 64, is a home video game console developed and marketed by Nintendo. It was first released on June 24, 1996 in Japan, 
September 29, 1996 in North America, and March 1, 1997 in Europe and Australia. It was the last major home console to use cartridges as its primary storage format until the Nintendo Switch in 2017 8 as a fifth generation console, it competed primarily with the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. This was my first Nintendo console. It made me get used to the weird controls. I have tolerance over them for the most part. I play a lot of rare games. Not Conquer, thank goodness. I also played Mario Party 1 through 3 and Super Mario 64. Good time. The Nintendo GameCube BC is a home video game console released by Nintendo in Japan and North America in 2001 and in PAL territories in 2002. The GameCube is Nintendo's entry in the sixth generation of video game consoles and the successor to their previous console, the Nintendo 64. The GameCube competed with Sony's PlayStation 2 and Microsoft's Xbox. This is the first game console to get more comfortable with the GameCube controller. Games like Smash and Zelda were a huge hit despite being the second worst console. In fact, the GameCube controller worked for Smash. The Nintendo was expecting us to carry it around by the handle and take it everywhere we go with the TV. The Wii U, slash Y just slash Wii U, is a home video game console developed by Nintendo as the successor to the Wii 6 released in late 2012 7 8 it is the first 8th generation video game console 9 10 and competed with Microsoft's Xbox One and Sony's PlayStation 4. This is one of the most underrated consoles of all time in my opinion. Games such as Super Mario Maker, Super Smash Bros. 4, Splatoon, and so much more I haven't played deserve to give some recognition. Having two screams can help with gameplay and you can use the second screen as a way of playing the game without the TV. It's just too bad that Nintendo a bad idea. It is bullshit. And that is my overall opinion on the best to worst. Be sure to like, comment, share the video, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notified for more of my work. Also, be sure to follow me on my Twitters, Tumblr, Reddit, Dailymotion, TikTok, Instagram, Vimeo, Discord, Facebook, Twitch, and go to my Weebly website. Be sure to support Josh on Patreon and Twitch for charity and to get the credit he deserves. Be sure to check out my playlist in the outro for previous works. Signing off.